recording what we are seeing is here lvd the working principle of lvdt as a displacement transducer is based on mutual induction when an ac excitation of 5 to 15 volts at the frequency of 50 to 400 hertz is applied to the primary winding peak a magnetic field is produced and this magnetic field induces a mutual current in the secondary windings an LVD is a transformer consists of one primary winding P and two secondary windings S1 and S2 mounted on a cylindrical former. The two secondary windings have equal number of turns and placed identically on either the side of primary winding as shown in figure. Uh, we have set, we have set this uh, shown here and uh, mainly the basic principle of the transducer to use the current source or voltage source and a voltage regulator and an amplifier generates a voltage signal as outlined. The main link sensor converts the linear movement of the object the LVT is coupled to into a variable corresponding electrical signal proportional to that movement. That movement can be from as little as 0 to 0.5 ohm up to 0 to 1000 ohm. In laboratory, industrial and Submersible environment is an essential one. And yeah, the LVDT is an electromechanical instrument designed to produce an AC voltage output proportional to the transformer's relative displacement and the ferromagnetic core. The critical sensor characteristic is their ability to perform under high vibration and shock levels when used in harsh environments. And the mainly the output is proportional to the position of the movable magnetic core. And here, three types of sensors are available in LVDT. One is temperature transducer, pressure transducer, and also displacement transducer, and others are oscillator. Flow transducers are also available. And uh, uh, the main working principle of the linear variable differential transformer or LVDT, working the uh, is in mutual induction. The dislocation is non-electrical energy that is changed into electrical energy. And uh, uh, the typical LVDT sensor has three solenoid coils lying end to end surrounding the tube. Primary coil is in the center and the secondary coil is on top and bottom. The object of position measurement is attached to the 